Welcome back to the Seahawks franchise where we're going to be taking on the Bears. They're going to be 5 and 7. We're going to be 8 and 4. Uh, they just haven't had a great start here. Offensively, they are almost dead last in the league at everything. And defensively, they're not doing too great either. Just overall, not great, but they do have a lot of talent. Seattle's coming off a victory here of the 49ers, a very close one. They played the Rams next week. We got to keep on one, and if we want to get that wild card spot that we're hoping for here. All right, we're going to be let out by Russell Wilson again. Didn't have a great week last week. Let's hope for something a little better here. We're going to get the ball out quickly, and Doug Baldwin's going to have it immediately, and we get about a 20-yard gain. You got to get the ball out quick against this Bears defense. I'm honestly a little worried about the uh, linebackers. Like Roquan Smith is going to be some trouble for us. So is Akeem Hicks. So I do want to try to get outside as Rashad Penny's going to have some room. And he's going to juke out somebody. Oh, I wish I could have stayed in bounds. And Dwayne Brown's going to be injured. I cannot afford that. That is going to be horrible if that's a long-term injury. And Dwayne Brown isn't even that good. He's worn without Trent Brown as well. It's going to be tough, no doubt. As I'm going to try to get it away, and Obregon hangs on to it. He's made some tough catches in traffic this year. Second and five for us here. We're going to call a little read option, and Russell Wilson's going to have a lot of room. Can he make it? Diving? Oh, he fumbles it. Oh, my God, I was diving, but get to keep it insanely close to it going out of the end zone and I would have been heated had that happened really would love to try and hit Obergon here it's going to be covered though I'm going to scramble out with Wilson he might be able to make it no he gets stopped short but we're not going to be in a great situation here it really hurt me I don't know we just haven't been able to get a lot of yards once we've been here and I'm going to try to hit oh I almost got intercepted going for Baldwin it's going to be fourth and goal Fourth and goal. I'm staying on the field. We're going to go for it. And Rashad Penny gets in. We should have just ran it from the beginning. We end up getting the touchdown. Going for it on a fourth down. And we're going to score at Chicago first. I, I should have ran it a little bit there. That was my bad that he even got the fourth down. But we get the touchdown. So the Bears went out and got Trubisky a few years ago. But Teddy Bridgewater is going to be the starter. They're not going to let Trubisky start. That's a little... Uh, controversial I would say but we're gonna go for a little gain there on that run I mean yeah it's definitely a little bit I mean out of hand because they did trade up to get him and they traded a decent amount to move up so it definitely is questionable second and seven now I expect him to try to pound it with Jordan Howard and Allen Robinson is gonna be shaken up but that's gonna be a short gain these receivers definitely have me worried they are pretty decent I'm not gonna lie um, and I'm a little worried that Taylor Gabriel is going to get behind me and cause something big as that's caught. But he's not going to get the first down. That was a – got some pressure there and was able to cause the incomplete pass. So we're going to get the ball back after not a successful drive by Chicago. And we're going to have to try to work with this. We'll see. Looks like they're going to be in some cover three. Just got to get the ball out to my running back. They're just not covering the flats, bro. And we have about 13 yards. They got to cover those flats. Going to line up empty here. We'll see what we can get. As I'm just going to have to toss it deep. This is going to be a close throw. And it's intercepted by Eddie Jackson. Should have threw that way earlier. I had him. Just waited a little too long there. And I get picked. So the Bears come back out on offense. Definitely a horrible play on my part. Teddy Bridgewater's got all day in the pocket, but he gets sacked by a defensive tackle. My goodness. That was Nazir Jones, I believe, on the pressure, and that's pretty that's pretty out of hand. It's going to be second and 14, and they're going to go to Murphy. They're able to slip a tackle for a decent gain. See, this is where it gets a little tough for me because, you know, it's third and three. There's so many options they could do here. Teddy Bridgewater is going to take this snap, and he's going to fire it to Trey Burton. I really like Trey Burton, too, coming over from Philadelphia for him. I think he's going to be a good tight end for them. So another new set of downs. They're going to motion Miller over. Bridgewater is going to keep it and just hit Miller. 
Yeah, my defense, I mean, we get pressure sometimes. I would just like to be a little more consistent there. Third and eight, pretty big play here. We're going to pass it. And Teddy Bridgewater's going to shake off a sack. Oh, and I'm going to send some people at him. He might be able to get the first. No, he gets stopped just short. What a tackle there by Landon Collins, I believe. They are going to attempt a field goal in the Windy City, they call it. Not going to be a easy task here. 41 yards out. Not sure what that makes in a field goal range. Nearly had it there. Had enough leg just a little off to the right. And they're going to miss that field goal there. So after a holding call on us, it's going to back us up a little bit, which is a little frustrating. We're going to line up empty. Gonna, oh, I had somebody open. Aaron Lynch on the sack. Yeah, and without our left tackle, it's going to be a little tough. Backed up a lot here. Not a great spot at all. It's going to be second and 29. Um, I'm just going to have to toss it deep to Obregon. Does he have the speed for it? And he comes up with the grab at the 7. Separating in coverage. That speed is nasty. Just take a look at this. I mean, Russell Wilson throws it as far as he can. It's not even that Obregon had a lot of separation. He just made a tough catch. That was in traffic. And that's, that's going to be a great grab by him. So after that huge gain, we're going to be... In the goal situation here, we're going to hand it off to Rex Burkhead and give Rashad Penny a little rest. He's going to lose a yard. Oh, I love this route. If Baldwin can get open, that's a touchdown. 100% that's a touchdown. It's man coverage, I believe. It is. Baldwin has it. Touchdown. We get another. That, that really does shred man coverage. I love that play. So Chicago is going to come back onto the field. Bridgewater's going to be under center. Bridgewater hasn't really done well so far. They're going to do a little play action, though. Just get it to Trey Burton before he gets demolished by Frank Clark, I think. They're going to line up in the gun. Kind of a close formation here. A little tight one. Second and three. They're going to hand it to Howard. He's going to slip a tackle. And that's going to be his best run of the day. This could be the last play of the quarter. We'll see. Oh, they're going to call a play, and they're going to hand it to Howard again. And Malik McDowell is going to be there for the stop, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. It seems they're really trying to stick to this run game, which I just don't think is a smart decision. We're number one in the league against a run. We just don't let a lot of people run on us. It's going to be a long third down. We'll see what they have planned for Bridgewater. They're just going to toss it to Jordan Howard. That's not a great decision. They're going to have to punt it again. It's going to be a first and 10. We're going to motion Obregon like we do a lot, and we're going to hand it off to him. Oh, I should have cut outside. I should have cut outside. That's my bad. All right, it looks like the cornerbacks are playing decently off my coverage here. I'm just going to toss it for Obregon, and he should have this. He does. It's going to be a first down. Make another grab, Obregon is. I feel like I'm really not getting uh, my tight end McBride involved, so I really would love to get him involved a little bit more. We'll see. I'm going to hit him here, and he's going to catch that near the first. Let's see if we can't fight for this. They do have a nasty D-line with Akeem Hicks and Jonathan Hankins, so we'll see what we can do. We're going to run it with Penny, and he's going to have it. And a little more there by Penny. That's only his fourth rush of the day. We need to run the ball a little more. Definitely got to start running a little bit more. I know I like to pass it, but we got to give Penny a chance to make some plays. Usually comes up clutch for us. We're going to do a little outside zone here. Just miss a tackle there, and then we're going to get a few. Tyler Lockett's kind of been taken out of the equation, hasn't he? I haven't been able to find him much. I'm not sure why. A little tough as I'm going to try it, and Doug Baldwin gets it. Fit it in there. I thought that could have been intercepted, but we get it. Second and 10. We're going to try a little toss play or triple option, and we're not going to get much. I make the correct read, but stopped for about a three-yard gain. So it's going to be a third and seven now. Not a great spot to be again, and I'm going to toss it. Doug Baldwin has it. Man, Doug Baldwin has stepped up this year. Really, I mean, he's stepped up a lot. With the Obregon emerging a little bit, it's it, we have a really nice receiving core with Baldwin and also Lockett. I mean, yeah, we got a nice receiving core, but we're not going to get much on that run. Going to line up empty here. 
Gonna get the screen pass off to Lockett, and he's got a chance. He stiff arms somebody, and he gets the touchdown. Lockett gets involved there on the screen pass. Stiff arms somebody right off of him. Goes into the end zone, and we're gonna go up pretty big here on Chicago at home. So Chicago's gonna come out with Teddy Bridgewater again, not doing great. I mean, you think at this point that might actually bench him. They're just not moving the ball. He's gonna toss it to the running back again. He just doesn't wanna go deep here, and that's gonna be a loss. They're gonna line up empty, third and nine. We're gonna call little man coverage, and Trey Burton comes up with it. He beat Bobby Wagner that time. So they're going to get a chance here. That might be their first first down. Teddy Bridgewater is going to toss it to Trey Burton again. After a delay a game, it's going to back him up again. I mean, it's not great here for him. It's not working out. Third and eight here. We'll see what they can do. Got a quarterback spy on Bridgewater. Going to send it. Oh, and he's intercepted by Steven Nelson. Intended for Miller. It gets picked, and Teddy Bridgewater is not playing well. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up benching him. He's just not really doing much for him. First and ten for us, though. We're going to do a little play action here. Going to toss it for Albregon, and he's going to make the grab. He's well over 100 yards this game, I think. Yeah, he's over 100 yards. He leads the league in almost every category, including receptions, which is pretty crazy. Leads it in yardage by a mile, and we're going to hand it off to Penny here. But yeah, he leads it by a mile in yardage. Second and five, the two-minute warning is near in Chicago. It hasn't been able to do much here. Going to try to get it off the locket. And that's going to be a great grab and a great throw by Wilson under pressure. Another first down, and looks like we can at least get some points out of this drive. 21-0 over the Chicago. We're going to hand it off to Penny, and he's going to have some room to work. Oh, my. He almost made it to the end zone. Over 50 yards. Look at that burst he showed. Just right up the middle of their defense, too. I'm going to let this clock run a little bit before I call this play, just so, you know, they don't have a lot of time. We're going to run it again, though, with Penny. Oh, I almost had it. I thought we could cut back inside there, but we're still going to move the ball at the three. It's going to be second and goal for us. Rex Burkhead is going to be in the game. We're going to try an outside zone, and he's going to cut back inside. He fights for that touchdown. Just freaking drag somebody into the end zone. He's going to get a touchdown, and we're likely going to go up 28-0 before the half. Third and four now for Chicago. They're looking to score before halftime. Just going to toss it over the middle. Bobby Wagner is there. I'm just going to let the clock run out here and head into the half. So we're going to head into halftime here. That should take us right out of there. You know, just got the punt back. They haven't done much, really. It's been tough for them. They haven't been able to move the ball on offense. Teddy Bridgewater's play has been very stale. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets benched after his performance. They're kind of trying to stick to the run game. It's not working out. Seattle just has a lot of weapons, you know. We're just kind of beating up on them. Let's go ahead and jump into the third quarter. I mean, it's always kind of weird how t much Seattle can struggle at times and then how much they can just dominate. Like, there's certain times where we just struggle against Arizona. And then we're just able to beat up on the Bears badly. They're not able to do much as Jordan Howard attempts another run for a loss of a yard. Yeah, I mean, we do play the Rams next week, so that is going to be tough. So as much uh, training, I guess, as we can get is good. Bridgewater's trying to scramble around. Nowhere to go. Just cannot do much, and he fumbles it. They do recover it. That's a horrible play by Bridgewater. I don't know what the hell is happening. I think I'm going to have to tinker with the slider sets a little bit because that was a little out of hand. I just don't know if the sliders can fix that. Because, you know, when the quarterbacks start running like that, not a lot of good usually happens. Rashad Penny is going to try to go forward here for a few, and he gets about two yards. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't know if I should tinker with the sliders because we've had some great games this year with these current sliders. So it might just be Chicago. No, I had circle wide open. Gosh dang it, Patterson with the sack. That's a rough one. Chicago's defense might be stepping up. You know, they might be. Definitely not out of this game. It's going to be third and 17, though. Pretty big play here. Just going to have to toss it deep for Baldwin. 
was covered by Prince Amukamara just out of the reach of Baldwin. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So we are going to punt it back here to the Bears. And they should get quite good field position off this punt. Near the 40, at the 46 actually of Seattle. Great, great return. I mean, it, I don't think it's like being a mobile quarterback because we went up against Cam Newton and he hurt us pretty badly. Jordan Howard's going to get the ball. And our run defense is just, it's real stout. Our safeties are good players. So they're going to line up empty again. Third and six. And Bridgewater's going to test him deep. Shaquille Griffin breaks it up. Great defense there on Anthony Miller. Chicago's going to come back out and attempt a very long field goal. They already missed from 41 out. So we'll see what they got here. It's going to be at the 42-yard line, and that's a wild kick. Just way off line, and Seattle gets the ball back again. Second and 10, though. We'll see what we can get here. As I'm going to try to get it to Baldwin, and he's going to be open. Near the 40, him and Baldwin connect once more. Something I've noticed, though, is we've had a lot of time in the pocket. Our offensive line is protecting well. Usually, you know, we're getting beat badly. Rashad Penny gets another nine near the first again, and we're just kind of bullying the Bears here, which is a little out of hand. Because I was going through, and the Bears have a nice defensive line. I mean, they have some run stoppers, so I'm pretty surprised I'm able to run the ball like this. And Roquan Smith, don't forget about that. To be honest, though, Rashad Penny has been, in pro has been getting progressively better throughout the season. I mean, he started off not great, but he's really picked up his play these last few weeks as Rex Burkhead now is going to get nine yards, and they just can't stop the run today. And I was also looking, I guess this kind of does make sense, the Bears are almost dead last in defense, too, even stopping the run, which is a little crazy. We're going to hand it off to Penny here, and he's going to have a first down. And a lot more. We're just running it down their throat right now. I mean, we really freaking are here. And I'm just going to toss it up here for McBride. He can't come down with it. It gets broken up in the end zone. Third and goal for us here. Let's see what we can get. We want to scramble out left with Wilson. Uh, just throw it. Oh, Baldwin comes up with it. Flag is down. We'll see what this is going to be about. That was a bad throw on my part. Touching. Offense. Oh, Baldwin must have went out of bounds. Oh, that was Lockett. Well, we're just going to settle for the field goal. I mean, I'm not too upset about that. We're up pretty big here. Don't expect the Bears to have a huge comeback. 31-0 to zero at Chicago, and that's, that's tough. So we'll see if Teddy Bridgewater maybe is a little more aggressive. I mean, he needs to take some shots. I guess he did test Shaquille Griffin last drive. Got to try to find some wide receivers, though. Play action again. Oh, wow. Gets sacked by Cameron Wake, the veteran coming in, having a monster season. I mean, if we're being honest, that is horrible. 58 yards passing on the day? That's bad. Third and 17, though. It's going to be a tough one. We do have some nasty pass rushers. Gabriel catches it in the open field. Cam Chancellor brings him down just before the line. Fourth and two. Well, they surprisingly punted away down that big. I, I mean, it's almost like they're conceding defeat. I mean, we're beating them pretty badly, if we're being honest here. Just going to toss that ball to McBride. He's not going to get much. Second and ten for us here. We'll see what we can get. Got to toss it for Baldwin. Oh, and he's going to go forward for the first down. Beating man coverage on a Mukamara. So it is going to be a second and 10 for us here. We're going to motion Obregon again. And I'm going to get the ball to him. He's not going to. Oh, wow. He trucked somebody. Not for a lot of yards, though. We're going to be in a tough third down situation. Third and six for us. We'll see what we can get here. As I'm just going to toss it. Lockett comes up with it. Another big play against this defense. I mean, yeah, they are not too good, are they? I'm literally doing everything I want to them. They can't stop a thing that I'm doing here. Definitely is tough. I'm going to hit Lockett. He's able to hang on to it up to the 39. It's going to be a second and four now. Can we keep the shutout going? 31 to nothing. Seattle football here. We're going to cut it back inside with Rashad Penny. He's got the first nearing 100 yards on the day. 
So second and nine here. We'll see what we can get near the red zone. Just going to toss it. Oh, man. I had Obregon open, and I wanted that touchdown with him, but they, they get some pressure finally on me. Third and nine. Tough play here. Tough play, and we're going to toss it to Tavon Austin, and he's going to get the first. Just really burning him with everybody here. I mean, running backs, wide receivers, Russell Wilson runs it. We're just doing anything we want. So Tavon Austin's going to stay in the game again. And we're going to get him the football on a little screen pass. And that's going to be a touchdown. Another one for Seattle. And they're going to go up big, really blowing apart the Bears. Just blowing them out. Oh, blocked it. They blocked it. And Adrian Amos might take this back. Is this going to be Chicago's only points on the day? Two off a blocked freaking PAT. That's going to probably, that might be their only points of the day. Don't think Chicago can come back from this one. It's a nasty, nasty lead we got. Jordan Howard, though, gets a good run. That's by far his best run of the day. Second down, Teddy Bridgewater in the gun. Hasn't had a great day at all. And they're going to hit Gabriel, who gets demolished by Bobby Wagner. Ten minutes left, third and one for the Bears, 37-2. to two. And Bridgewater's going to get sacked. Frank Clark this time. Him and Cameron Wake have been a ferocious duo together. That's our second sack of the day, and it's going to bring up fourth down once more. Let's see if we can't try to chew a lot of this clock up here. Not a whole lot of time left. We'll just try to run it with Rashad Penny, and he's able to get about four yards. Now it's going to be a second and six. We're going to try a little play action here. Not a whole lot of places to go. Get it away. I tried to throw it. Patterson in there with another sack. Third and 14 here. Really tough play. Oh, I almost get strip sacked in the end zone. That could have been very bad. Fourth and 14, though. We're just going to punt it. Bears are going to have the football back. We'll see if they can't get a drive going for themselves. 37 to 2 isn't isn't a great uh, game for him. This is probably is going to be like a wake up call for him. You know, Teddy Bridgewater is just not going to work out. Well, the good thing at least for this is I do not think this is sliders because this is the first game this has happened for me. Usually the quarterbacks are quite good. I go against. So it, it, you, I hope this isn't slider related because I've been using these sliders for a while now. Bridgewater is going to get a chance to pass it again, and he hasn't had a great day. They're going to fire on the comeback route. What a grab. Steven Nelson was real sticky on that play as well. That was just a great catch in traffic. That would be pretty crazy if it was because I think it, I think it actually might have been now that I think about it. Second and 14, though, for the Bears, and he's just going to toss it out to Howard. Got a decent amount of room. That time it pays off checking it down. Dude, now that I'm thinking about this, it, he is actually the worst version of Alex Smith. He, I mean, he is. He, he literally, every play, he checks it down to the running back almost. He's going to toss it, though, to Murphy that time. And that's got to be the guy I wanted. I think it is because he's like a red zone threat. He looks like one at least. And it does look like they do want to try to get a touchdown here before the game is over. I mean, who wouldn't? Don't want your only points coming off a block PAT as Trey Burton's able to fight off a tackle. Get about nine more yards. Make sure if you guys haven't entered in my giveaway, I I'm doing a giveaway for once I reach 500 subs. So make sure you enter that. It's just on my front page of my channel. As they're going to toss it for Deion Sims. Oh, and it's incomplete? I mean, this might end up being bad happening for us because we do face the Rams. I just want to be prepared. I don't know if this game was maybe great preparation. I mean, I don't know if it's great blowing a team out right before you play the Rams because you know you probably won't blow them out. But here's a two-minute warning. They're going to go no huddle here. The Bears are. Teddy Bridgewater is going to attempt to pass it, and it gets broken up. Yeah, just settling 4-3. Probably want to get a little points on the board. And we should be able to kneel the balls out ourselves. So this should just run out the clock. We kneeled it out. They just kicked it off to us. And we're going to destroy the Bears on a tough road game. 37-5. to 
Our team really is clicking at this point in the year. Offense is rolling, defense is stepping up, causing a few turnovers here and there. And everything on offense we do is just explosive. I mean, we got to have the best offense in the league. That's going to be a great win for us. Russell Wilson definitely did play well, but Rashad Penny has to get some of the credit there. Let's go ahead and check out some of our stats. Seahawks, we 22 for 31, 308 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Decent game. Great game, actually. Rashad Penny, 18 carries, 92 yards, average five of carry. Doug Baldwin had a good game. Obregon had a good game. Defensively, sack-wise, we were great with Frank Clark and Cameron Wake. That's going to be a good game for us. Let's go ahead and check out the game for next episode. Oh, no, this is very bad. For whatever reason, the Cardinals are over us now. Not sure why. That could seriously affect our playoff implications. I mean, seriously. Um, I I'd like to see why that is, but they're ranked over us. That could be very bad. Checking out the weekly awards here. Rodgers wins it. Luke Keeley wins it for the NFC. AFC offense goes to Tom Brady's replacement, and Von Miller gets it for the defense. So checking out the Rams again. Before we play them, doing a little check-in. I, I did check we are 3-2 and two in the division. So f I don't know why the Cardinals would be ranked above us. They just must be... They must have all their games played in the division. So this game against the Rams is very important for me. We have got to beat the Rams because if we do, we'll be 4-2 and two in the division. Jump back over Arizona even if they don't lose the game. So that's very important. The Rams keep on winning. I mean... Haven't lost since they beat us. Taking out some tough teams. We're going to be playing playing them. And I mean, it could, it could be very bad. Because you have Jared Goff who's able to make all the throws you need him to make. I mean, Todd Gurley. Big thing is we are going to have Chris Carson returning back to our lineup, which should be pretty big. I'm really worried about their defense, though. Really worried. And Dominican Sue has a sack. So, I mean, yeah, their defense can their defense can definitely get pressure. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. So, yeah, we play the Rams next week. We need to beat them to go over Arizona for that wild card uh, playoff berth because they are ranked over us, I do believe, in that. And the Cowboys are also in the wild card. So, yeah, we'd be, literally be out of the playoffs if we don't. So, that's we need to win. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that sub button and have your notification bell enabled so you get notified every time I post a video. And please share the video with your friends. I will greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.